Welcome everyone, my name is Mikita Mikado and my presentation today is about sales content. A little about myself. I'm the CEO of PandaDoc and PandaDoc is a proposal and contract management software. We help over 5,000 companies to deliver stunning sales proposals and air-free contracts. So I've spent the last six years of my career in the world of sales content. And it was a lot of fun and a lot of findings. Today I'm excited to share my and my team's learnings on how you can close more deals with the right sales content and process at the bottom of the funnel. Let's go. I'll kick it off with some interesting stats from AMA. Sales reps spend only 22% of their time actively selling, while more than 82% of B2B decision makers think sales reps are unprepared. I believe that problems at the bottom of the funnel contribute to these numbers a lot. So today we'll talk about sales efficiency and effectiveness at the bottom of the funnel, which is an area usually overlooked by sales leadership, operations, and marketing. Let's start with what contributes the most to sales inefficiency at the bottom of the funnel. At a high level, I believe it's sales and marketing misalignment. What we see at PandaDoc is that the marketing is still hyper-focused at the top of the funnel. Things like web analytics, demand generation, lead capture, lead distribution, etc. Beyond that, there is next to no effort by marketing to impact sales effectiveness. Sales and only sales actually can close the leads that marketers spend budgets, blood, sweat, and tears to generate. Basically, marketers lose insight into what happens after the handoff, right? Uh, from marketing to sales. And as a result, 70% of marketing content is never used by sales and marketing doesn't even know about it. And 82% uh, of decision makers think sales reps are unprepared, while 65% of sales reps say they can't find the right content. Now, at the same time, sales reps spend countless hours on admin work, writing proposals, getting approvals on contracts, connecting different people on both sides of the wire to negotiate in terms, waiting for signatures, scanning, faxing, and then once deals get closed, arranging the actual transactions of money. That's not fun. And the data proves that fixing the problems at the bottom of the funnel hugely impacts any business. So how do we fix these problems? Well, the first thing we got to do is actually really simple. We start sending proposals instead of quotes or contracts. Based on hundreds of thousands of documents sent through PandaDoc, we see that sales proposals close better than any other document. And what's the difference? Well, proposals have more information other than pricing details or contractual terms. They position your product or service as a relevant solution. They tell a story. They're tailored to the prospect and therefore they're more efficient. I mean, after receiving a great proposal, your buyer won't say that your sales prep was unprepared. And it's just one document, so your sales cycle gets shorter because you don't have to wait for clients to take multiple actions on your documents. And whatever collateral you send out, it's going to be compared to what competitors send. You want to make sure you're sending awesome proposals versus plain quotes or contracts. Next, I want to share a few tips we learned over the last few years about what actually makes sales proposals great. But before I do that, here's a little secret on how we learn all this stuff. Benedoc has an analytics module that allows to track how much time clients spend on each section of your proposals. So we learn through aggregated data from thousands of documents sent through our product. First finding is that at least 30% of recipients' time is spent on the cover letter. 
Busy executives, in many cases, don't even go beyond the section. Two tips on the cover letter. Require your reps to write it from scratch. Summarize the proposal and deliver a high-level pitch all within a few sentences. The next finding is to add a client quote or a short key study, which is where marketing can help a lot, by the way, because uh, nothing makes you more relevant compared to uh, making a similar company successful. To make a case study even more compelling to your buyer, you may want to consider including a video testimonial. We found at PandaDoc that videos in a proposal are actually viewed five times more than any other piece of content. And another thing uh, for better proposals is to make them hugely personalized. Call the decision maker by their name and their company by name through the entire document, not in just cover letter. Again, include social proof from someone whom your client can relate to. You know, same industry, company size, title of the person, so on and so forth. And here's an example of a client quote we add to some of our proposals that actually talks about personalization. The next cohort of things to consider using in your proposals are pricing options. In addition to pricing for required products and services, include optional a la carte items that your prospects can select themselves. By giving them these nice to have options, you can potentially add up to 10-15% in revenue. And if you have to discount, instead of lowering the total price, you can just focus on negotiation around these optional items. Discount them, give them away for free, but keep your price and deal size high. Also, add actual terms to every proposal. Make it legally binding. That decreases the number of back and forth with prospective customers and thus, decreases your sales cycle. Ensure that any legal terms you include within your proposal are up to date and have been reviewed and approved by a lawyer. You may also want to consider making the terms uneditable so there is no risk of delivering the wrong terms to your prospect. And finally, have closing calls to action. Make your proposals close the deals. The proposal should end with a strong call to action that helps the buyer close the deal for you. There are two of those we offer within PandaDoc, an electronic signature and the ability to pay for um, the product or service immediately after they sign. But you know, there are a ton of e-signing tools on the market these days and I highly encourage everyone to utilize one. Making it easy for a customer to sign on a deal is the simplest thing you can do that will just immediately increase your revenue. While adding a payment option is the simplest thing to decrease the quote to cash time, which is also important. Now that we know what good proposals should include, let's talk about how to enable sales reps to send them out. Well. Bottom of the funnel client experience should start with the customer. We should tell one concise story both at the top of the funnel as well as the bottom, guiding the customer through discovery, education, validation, proposal, and close. And you must be able to achieve this with so many factors in play industry, geography, buyer persona, the total audience pains, etc. And you know, today the story normally starts with the content on your website or ads, which both are managed by marketing. The good news is that most marketing teams already have the necessary content and necessary messaging. They already have videos, sales pitches, decks, client testimonials, case studies, data sheets, etc. And the best scenario we've seen among thousands of customers is when marketing enables the reps with the right tools to deliver 
stunning proposals, stunning content, stunning message. There are three major things that could be done here by marketing. Other than setting up awesome sales content enabled software like <laughs> Vandadoc. But um, first thing marketers can do is they can create a library of sales ready content templates, which we discussed previously. The second thing is that they can get, uh, categorize this content to make every proposal relevant to a customer while um, making it easy for reps to discover the content to include within. And then finally, marketers can got to constantly measure the performance of these content templates as well as their usage by sales. It's important that the reps actually use this content. So finally, as I'm getting to the end, I want to finish with this slide. Everything I was talking about today heavily depends on marketing and sales alignment. We at PandaDoc highly encourage sales to give proposals a shot and marketing to help them on this journey. When both teams are helping each other, great things happen. You grow faster and you start loving your business. I want to thank everyone who have been with me here today and I would engage I would love to engage in a conversation here or via social media.